We're going left. You found the culprit. Right here. Why do I get so many flats? <sighs> Good morning everybody, welcome back to the logbook. My name is Jeff, but you could call me, well you can call me Jeff Nutley. <laughs> uh, we're here in Soloma, uh, Guatemala, and I got this amazing hotel. So this is the downstairs. Uh, full kitchen for breakfast, and then the, oh, this bed. <laughs> look, how, look how thick the sheets are. Oh, it was so nice. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm just doing some file transferring and uh, it's time to flip a coin to figure out where we go today. So uh, the plan is either go, we can go uh, left, that'll take us into Mexico, which is, um, well, it's the end of Guatemala, which would be a bummer, but uh, we could also go north and continue in Guatemala. So uh, let's make that happen here Ooh, we're going left so we're going into Mexico um, I have looked at the map already and there is a super rad town that we could go to uh, San Cristobal de las Casas so that's super rad apparently so we can go check that out but uh, we'll need to wrap this up and get moving because uh, I think it might be far <laughs> so uh, Let's rip Roar out of here. Yesterday, what we did was we went from here, we kind of followed that, and then we went over, and we just did, well, that's not working. And we did, and we kind of landed up over there. This is really bad markering. <laughs> and that was the end of the dirt, which was awesome. And then it was road, and we did these crazy mountains up in here. And I don't know, it was weird. But then we're in uh, Saloma, it's around here. It's not on the map. Oh no, it is right there. Oh, there you go. So that's where we went. <laughs> Oops. I'm gonna cross that out. So we are in Saloma. So today um, we flip for left, which is gonna make us go across the border here. Uh, so that's gonna be very unique. And then we're gonna try and get all the way up to here. So that's plan for the day. I forgot what it was called, but it was, it's a uh, tortilla omelet thingy. It's, re it's really good, I had a bite already, but the restaurant here in this hotel, bang on. Anyway, I gotta eat. Alrighty, this uh, hotel, I was talking to Edgar who was uh, got breakfast for me. Uh, he said that this is the nicest hotel in the area, which I can imagine. And uh, that it's also the biggest. But I think we could see it from the way up on the hill there. It's not so big it is. But uh, yeah. So, we're heading to the border. If I can get my finger into my finger hole. Okay, we can go. We are actually ready this time. The, you can probably see Gunther is so dusty still. The, it rained all night. Um, but there is a walk, car wash right there. So it would have been uh, easy to get him washed, but then it was going to be wash him. He's washed, he's wet right now. And then we're going to go into like more dustiness. So I was like, ah, screw it. We'll just uh, wait till we get out of the mountains where we're less likely to hit more dirt roads like yesterday. Well, here we go, back up into the mountains. <laughs> I am wearing full winter gloves. Um, I'm wearing a hoodie and this jacket, which usually keep me pretty warm. But I really thought this morning that I might put on my um, heated vest it's like 10 degrees right now and that's sort of the cutoff for when I put put it on or not <laughs> crazy I don't know what this one's called Santa Uelia that's the church those are dogs three of them 
One, two, three. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> well, we're getting back up into the elevation. Uh, similar to yesterday. It's not quite uh, as barren as it was yesterday, but we're still climbing. <laughs> this is, I'm laughing, you can't see it. <laughs> um, all along the side of the road, you can see this guy, they're tilling and planting. So I saw down there further, they had corn going. Uh, we're getting up to the height, oh, there you go, some agave. So you see the big agave flowers, and um, yeah, lots of uh, a lot of I've seen a lot of sheep, which is fun. Who doesn't like to see some sheep? Usually accompanied by a dog, uh, also known as a sheep dog. So this is we're probably at near the elevation we were last night. Uh, yesterday, I'm not going to look because I don't know. It's a lot of work. Let's just go with over 3,000 meters. It is super windy now. Uh, we just got over a pass and the other side of the pass, there's wind. And it's uh, all of a sudden gotten quite cold. So uh, let's, uh, there's a lot of switchbacks in our future. So let's uh, make haste. <laughs> all right, we got here. We've got a whole bunch of dogs with uh hola <laughs> a whole bunch hola <laughs> with horns dogs with horns i like it <laughs> success <laughs> we just made i made my day that made my day right back into it those switchbacks weren't going down they were going up <laughs> That was a very cruel joke. Ooh, that's not positive. Oh, starting to get uh, some condensation or something. Whoa. Whoa! That was crazy. Well, the roads are <laughs> not as great as I assumed. So let's, uh, let's take it easy. Not a place where I want to be stuck or hurt or both. Right. Wow, look at this. This is the cool looking, well, not that concrete structure. <laughs> That's cool looking. The sun. That's cool stuff. It is very cold. Let's get out of here. Hopefully we go down there. They're building a road. We're not going on it. Oh man. This is tundra. This is what you call a frozen tundra. <laughs> I don't even think it's frozen. But it certainly feels that way. This is nice. I think we're at the summit of this pass now. This is nice. I like having the sun. That's rad. For sure. It's, there's so much more optimism when it's sunny out than when, you know, whatever, one kilometer back. Oh no way. Soccer game! Football! Football! <laughs> I don't know what's more confusing, the Reds against the Reds, or just everybody's wearing a different. <laughs> Oh my god, what is Google doing to me here? Oh man, this is nuts. <laughs> when in doubt, go to Gaia. San Mateo is done. So, 
that's the route otherwise I'm going way east wow I've got longer on this next route than I did getting to here which took me over about, two, uh, about an hour and a half oh man well <laughs> Like Mick Jagger likes to say, Wow! <laughs> this is going to be a long day. I don't uh, believe that uh, this is very uh I don't know the locals have not been waving back let's just say hold on no not even looking at me so I don't think uh, I'm very welcome in these areas <laughs> well we're back up at some altitude again uh, the road once we got up to the heights is not as bad which is good so we can make a little bit of time uh, and we'll just keep moving we'll just keep moving here we go this is great <laughs> uh, just a quick sit wrap here i uh my anxiety is kind of coming back i can't talk about it because it only makes it worse so I'm just gonna just quickly say that I have I have pills I can take them if I if I need them but uh, just uh, looking at that map what I've written so far it's not good and um, yeah it's just making me question uh, what I'm doing up here at like you know 3,000 meters very far from anyone. Zero traffic on this road. Okay, I can't talk about it anymore. So anyway, that's where I'm at. There's some dogs. I mean, like, I could always eat them. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. It's really nice up here. Okay, you can do this. Just be smart. No more talk. That's the chicken bus. That's why they have to build them the way they do, is so they can get here. Ha! That's amazing. I'm like right in a soccer football game. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know what town this is. But it is the cleanest town in Guatemala I have ever seen in Guatemala. <laughs> and I think it's the, uh, they have garbage cans everywhere and there's fines. Uh, so if you don't, if you don't, uh, and the fines are steep, like it's a hundred bucks. It's like Canadian, I think, or close to it anyway. So I would imagine people do not want to get that fine. <laughs> We're properly up here now. This is awesome. <clears throat> I did see in that last town a sign for the town that the border is. Uh, so we are in going the right direction, which is nice to know. And wow. See, that's where we're going that way. So we're 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 on the right track, which is positive. <laughs> I mean, you know, small comforts. You just gotta take them. Wow, this is cool. 
Uh, well, we're coming down on another little, or a big Puebla <laughs> town. So, this is, uh, which says we're one hour away from the border, but we're still, you know, in the mountains here. If you look out this way, you can see we're still above the clouds. So, uh, yeah, I'm a little curious where this border is gonna be situated. <laughs> This is so cool. I had no idea this was gonna happen today. It's a border day. It's supposed to be, you know, asphalt. And then you get to the border, you do your stuff, and then you just, you know, this is like a Honduras, but way better. <laughs> Nothing will ever beat that attempt at the border in Honduras to Guatemala. <laughs> I have no idea what Google's doing to me here. Ooh, a castle. Porta! Porta! Hola! They're building a Harry Potter house! I love it! This. I mean, the, the fact that Google just even knows this road exists is impressive. <laughs> Yikes, I can't believe it. Well, well, Google, you're really outdoing yourself. And no, I'm not being facetious at all. <laughs> Hold on. I got a wave. Oh, why did the chicken cross that road? Oh, man, it's going to get hit. <sighs> it's happened again. Picked up a flat. Why do I get so many flats? Oh, all right. Well, we found the corporate. The corporate? The cul we found the culprit. Right here. So, I mean, I noticed it and I rode um, to get uh, to this turnout here. And uh, so I'm off the road and stuff. It didn't leak super fast. I noticed it and then I was able to just get over. So hole's probably not too big. So I think it's a patch job, but the bike is not stable. So we'll see how we go here. <laughs> well, that was uh, a lot more difficult to get off than it should have been. Um, uh, mechanics out there, when you are putting on axles do not tighten them as much as you can tighten them because someone is bound to get a flat at some point and they're gonna be like this they're gonna have not air tools they're not gonna have they're just gonna have arms and there's nothing worse than struggling to get your wheel nut off. So I uh, took the wheel off and got the tire off uh, with some struggles, got the hole. I'm gonna patch it right now. And um, what you do is you, you find the hole, give a little scrape with this around it. And then uh, you put some uh, rubber cement on there, tire glue. And what you do is you leave it for a little bit because you want it to um, start to cure or harden or dry, whatever you want to say, till it's tacky. And then once it's tacky, then you can put the, the thing on, the patch, because um, if you don't, it's not going to have enough time to the glue for it to dry for when you put on the uh, tire. So you want it in the fresh air, getting a lot of uh, this dust all over it, which is good. Border is looking, I mean, it's still not very far away. It's like half an hour away, but 
this is gonna put maybe an hour and a half into I could not for the life of me find a good place to prop up the bike so that took a while so once it's dry you just push it on push your, your patch on get a lot of uh, pressure on there to get it a good stick it's not holding air there is another puncture here so this is the correct tube <laughs> you can see a little bit of a difference here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, put up the put the tube it uh, fill it up a little bit before I use the irons just so there's less of a chance that the uh, irons are gonna puncture the tube <laughs> Well, it's on. I don't know if it's holding air necessarily, <laughs> but I got I got it up to uh, 30, and then I wasn't able to get it any or drop down, and I wasn't able to get any higher. So I just want to. Uh, well, yeah, I'll change the scenery. That would be nice. Oh, my back brake is soft now. Okay. So let's uh, get the F out of here. So I'm gonna see, I'm gonna go a little further. I'm gonna try and find a, a tire place. Oh, nice. Cement is right here. I could have just gone right here. That's funny. So I'm just going to go a little bit, check it. I don't know if it was the pump. Who knows, you know? So we'll see. Here's a town. Tire places are about the most common <laughs> store in... Oh, car wash. That was close. Um, the commonest, most common places. So there's a mechanic. But... I want a tire place. Uh, what I think it might be is the guy that, um, when I've got this tube put, taken out in Panama, um, he gave me the tube back um, after I asked and it didn't have the valve in it. So I think the valve might be loose and I cannot find my valve uh, tool. So, um, that's maybe the problem. Hola, señor. ¿Cómo está? Ah, uh, estoy buscando una um, lantera. ¿Cómo? Uh, lanteria. 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 Por el neumático. Ah, pero tú quieres para el neumático. Ah. Sí. Aquí mira. ¿Ves el carro azul ese? Sí. Adelantito ahí está el. Ahí está el taller mecánico. ¿Izquierda? Sí. sí. Ok. Izquierda, donde están los arbolitos, ¿sabes? A este lado. Ok, ok, gracias. Ahí está. Ok, muchas gracias. <risa> Buenas tardes. Hola. Hola. Buenas tardes. Um, Mi uh, tubo, mi, la camana. Is the um, la valve is uh, loose? It's a nuevo nuevo uh, camana. Y um, no cero. <laughs> Tienes uh, aire? Aire? Aire y um, una la valva y aquí ah. está uh, loose. La chiquitita. Ahí sí. sale el aire. Aquí aquí sale el aire. Sí sí sí. Ah. Okay, so um, we got 30, bleh, we got 35 psi in there, and um, we're gonna try and get to gracias a Dios, which is thank God. <laughs> if we can get to thank God, and we'll look at the um, pressure, and if it's below 35. We got some problems. Let's just see. That doesn't look good. 
that's a 20. So it's dropped 15. It's also gotten hot. So we're going back to that town. Okay, I've got two options. One is to keep going and trying to get to Gracias a Dios. I just pumped it up to 25 with my pump. It's eight kilometers. Otherwise, I gotta go back to that Talier that we were at before because that's the only one around. Whew. So, uh, let's, uh, I don't know, probably pull over halfway and do it again. This is really not what I had in mind for today. But it's really, you know, as we all know, it's not up to us. <laughs> Tienes aire para mi llantada. Gracias. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, I just went to that place and uh, they were super nice. Um, <laughs> what? So he had his um, his uh, PSI gauge and uh, he was like, oh, you got like 35 uh, PSI. You know, we were talking a little bit. Then he gave, he sold me another tube and um, just so I have another one, which is great. And then, um, then I tested with my tester, my gauge, 25 PSI. And I was like, see, it's going down. Like, I don't know, I, I, I just don't, I don't want to risk it. I think I should just put this in. And he said, I don't know. So he tried his gauge again, it was still 35. So my gauge is broken. <laughs> I probably used it too much, it's probably the problem. But we'll go. <laughs> Gracias a Dios is, uh, he said four minutes away. All right, I'd have no service, so that's really just not, not helping the situation. So I can't look to see how far, uh, whatever that town was that I wanted to go to today. Uh, for some reason I think it's another three hours, which would put me coming in at like six plus. Um, that is if my tire is perfect, which I don't, I can't say for sure. So, uh, I am going to get a hotel and I'm going to, um, just deal with the bike. You know what? Like, it's just, it would be stupid to go. I'm in a town. It's got stuff. It's got, looks like a pond over there. I don't know what, how I'm going to use that, but somehow. And, um, yeah, we'll just sort it out, and then we'll 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 launch off in the morning. I don't really like going over the border on the weekend, but if we can do it early, it's worth it. And this looks like a hotel right here. It looks like a rad one. Well, uh, hotel, hotel, hotel. Oh man, I went everywhere to try and find a uh, mechanic to do the the uh, tire. No one. Everyone just put me to someone else. It's Friday, it's kind of afternoon, so. I ended up just doing it myself. So, uh, it's on there. The new tube is in the tire. Uh, should be good. There was a dude that helped me that was, I was in the parking lot of the hotel and there's a, apparently a mechanic in there <laughs> in the parking lot. So uh, he filled up the tire with the air. But uh, yeah, I am so beat. I'm going straight to bed. So it's still light up. <laughs> Um, I'm just seeing if there's hot water, but probably not. This place is uh, not ideal. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. <laughs> it was messed. What a messed up day. Uh, yeah, anyway, I'm glad it's over. Thank you very much for watching. If you had a good chance of laughing at me, then um, I guess click the like button. And if you want to see me do it all over again tomorrow, Click on subscribe. <laughs> but hopefully tomorrow is a better day. Uh, greener pastures. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Um, go out there, find someone, and please make it me. <laughs> make them laugh. Good night. Well, this is all gone to hell quite quickly.
I don't see how this is going to end well. I think I'm going to go try and bribe that <laughs> official on the Guatemalan side just to get a stamp.